Okay, and we're live. I think. <laughs> yeah, I believe we are. Hey guys, this is John. Welcome to the show. We are playing on Lee Chess here. Firing it up right as this tournament begins. So no late joining. But let's see how this turns out. White's building up on the queen side. Fine. We'll see what White comes up with here. I'm just being solid for this first game against Donnie Rules. I guess I've played one game against this player before. I don't really remember it. But let's try to win this first one. Okay. Um, I'll go King G7. I feel like we're both playing a little slow at the moment. But that's okay. 94. Um, let's prop this knight up. This looks pretty good. Take it this way. And I'm going to go G5. If he wants to sacrifice, he can be my guest. Get some checks in, but I don't think it's a good idea. It seems like a poor decision. Ooh, and take. Big time mistake by my opponent. There we go. Hello, what's up? Hello, Hing. Hello, Sammy. Yes, it is I in the flesh with the light mode. <laughs> Last minute decision to play this. Texas Day Brazil. I've been there before. Wow, my opponent just resigned. Okay. I was going to fix my webcam, but they just gave up. <laughs> All right. I don't know why that was the case. Kendalo. Okay, let's play Knight F6. Let's play like a Benko Gambit in this one, maybe. I used to play this line quite a bit. I don't really trust the Benko. I think the Benko is like nearly refuted. It's a semi-refuted opening. If you play it in the... Uh, at the higher rating levels, master level and whatnot, you're going to have a bad time. What's up, Scott Trick? Hello, Ravinian. You can do this because of the pin. Bongo and Congo, greetings. Ooh, that's a free bishop. And if rook b1, knight c3, even worse for white. The hits just keep on coming. Okay. So we're off to a hot start here. 27-minute arenas. These are always pretty snappy. Greetings, fish, fist bill. Also fish emoji. Yeah, I wasn't able to play Title Tuesday today. I'm sure you guys have been checking out a few Title Tuesday streams, though. It's always a good uh, day for streaming action. A lot of people play that tournament. Let's play a Smith Moore Gambit. Um, yeah, this is an interesting system. Let's go Bishop C4. I'm going to give that pawn, too. I don't mind if Black takes it. This opens a lot of lines for me, so. I think I should be pretty happy here, in theory. Oh, give me that. I will definitely take that one. And if queen a5, maybe just back to uh, c3. Just pull that back here. Give me that, too. Okay, rookie one on the way, potentially. Yeah, this is going to be painful for black. Already is. Let's take that. Nevertheless, my opponent has a pair of knights, so I have to be somewhat careful. I think I can take here, thanks to the pin. Let's just guide this home. Attack this pawn. Trade down. Nothing to it. Hi, Shernick. What's up with you? This guard's here. I had a feeling Black would blunder that for some reason, because he's looking for forward moves that... Uh, you know, attempt to create some threats. But very easy to blunder in the process of doing stuff like that. Mm, just go here. And again, make sure we're not stalemating. Um... I don't know, actually. Okay, I got a checkmate, but that was a little bit closer than I would have would have liked. I probably should start staircasing my queen over. But we got the job done. Uranus, thanks for the six months. Happy Tuesday to you, too. G11. Let's play a Sicilian in this one. Okay. Normal stuff happening. 
This pawn could be weak. I think I stand a good chance of straight up winning that pawn. Looks a little dangerous to take it, but I think it's fine. Let's do it. I say it looks dangerous because I do put myself in the line of fire in playing this way. Ooh, that would be really bad. Let's go here. I don't believe this line. Maybe if white's queen could reach h5, but even then there'd be knight f6. Um, let's go here. We'll just attack on the queen side now. C3, this is a nasty move. Yeah, let's take like this, and so we'll go here. Mm-hmm. And just line up bishop takes a2. Also, queen takes c2 as a mate threat, direct mate threat. All right. That last one was definitely not smooth. <laughs> like, I let my opponent get way too close to a stalemate. It was one of those annoying situations where it was actually hard to avoid stalemating them, even though I knew that that's their only chance. It was like I had too many pieces in the position to, like, win easily without thinking. <laughs> Okay, playing this player, I played this player in the first game. They played the same system, London system. Yeah, we had the same boring line. White does not have anything in this line, but uh, people still play it. He's going to play a4. Yep, did the same thing last time. Okay, this I kind of like for me, though. Let me just think how I want to handle this. Let's go here. And then on knight c, oh, he doesn't play knight c5. Okay, I would have thought he would have played that. Let's go here now. Reinforce. Probably take this now. And let's go here. Mm-hmm. Let's just back this up. Might go e5. We'll see. Because now he has to be careful. Yep. Okay. Let's go here. I'm trying to load this up. That's the plan. Let's go here. Hmm. Check, though. He move. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because strategically speaking, that was good for white with the knight landing on c5. I had to go for counterplay with e5. Fortunately, I was able to get a lot of tactics going. Okay, German Saint 102. So when your, your position is bad strategically, you have to compensate by playing uh, dynamically, trying to create problems. I have played Chessel before. Yeah, I have Sharnik. I don't do it regularly. But uh, I tried it a couple times. Let's go F4 and put the knight here. Kind of aim for the E5 square. I don't mind that. I think this should be all right. Let's just stop some early expansion. Maybe if Rook B8, um, I can play Knight E5, perhaps. Let's see what Black has in mind here, though. Because that, this is not really that much of a threat. I think I'm going to go knight e5. I'm not too concerned about losing that pawn. Black could take it. Rook b1. Um, I like what I'm getting here. i probably just going to castle now. And then maybe punch through with e4. Seems very dicey for Black's development. This is annoying because it's hard for Black to support this pawn. And if take take, I'm going to get into d6. Let's just recover the pawn first. Thank you, Buzz Thompson, for the 300 bits. That's a lot of bits. Thank you, Buzz. Let's go here. We'll keep the bind. Oh, he assumed. He assumed I was going to take on Passant. Poor assumption. Because even there, you could take the knight back and be on the bishop, but I take his knight with tempo on the queen. I just made some YouTube content, Jagsman. Yeah. I have not retired from YouTube. I just have not been posting lately. Ebelheed, thanks for the thousand bits. Very kind of you. A thousand big ones. Yeah, I will go back to posting on YouTube at some point. But I uh, just have not been active. 
too much in the past year or two. <laughs> I know, right? He thought Ampassant was forced. I can't blame him. Okay, I'm trying to set up a little threat on, on uh, this point. He saw it, though. He saw my idea. Um, KBYL, I see your uh, question. This does not seem like a sound sacrifice, by the way. If you're 1,900 rapping on Lee Chess, yeah, you're definitely good enough to tackle 100 endgames. So uh, I'd say go for it. Thanks again for those bits, Albal Heed and Buzz Thompson. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, get this move in. Go pick up this guy. Now he's got a strong center, but I am up a rook. So that should probably favor me. Threatening this. Let's go here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, let's do this one. He's running low on time. Can I take here? Let's actually just take here. There we go. All right. We get that one. I've got a nice lead on the field. Also, this player in second place does not have the fire. That should favor me. Okay, Teo. Play C6, D5. Advance in the center. Uh, maybe E4. This seems like actually a pretty good moment to play E4. Don't mind a queen trade. Um... Mm, I thought this was going to work out a little differently. I guess not. So I'm losing a pawn. Oh, but he blunders a piece. Yeah, I thought for some reason E4 would get me some nice dynamic play going, but uh, that didn't turn out to be the case. But my opponent blundered, so it did work out. Okay, just being solid here. No rush. You know, when, when you're in a, um, a winning position by material, you're up material just clean. I've often noticed that people are in a hurry to try to win the game. They think that like every single move that they make has to try for some simplification or overtly play for a win. But you should really try to get rid of that mindset because if anything, it's your opponents who need to have a sense of urgency in situations like this. Because you can win the game just by taking your time and letting the natural course of things occur, which is the position trading down to a winning endgame for you. But your opponents don't have that luxury. Like every decision they make carries a lot more weight. So don't at all feel like you have to uh, rush a conversion. If there's any doubt, don't rush. Well, I mean, if it's bullet, you might have to rush, but <laughs> I'm talking like rapid classical. Hey, Benny Hanna. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I do pretty well in this arena a lot of times. Hourly bullet. I played a bunch of these. This is the most common type of arena I've, I've played. 410. Okay, just the random 2700 out of nowhere, untitled. Always happens. <laughs> Usually they're not this high rated, but... This does happen from time to time. Yeah, this, this player knows what they're doing in this opening. Still, though, I like my position here. Let's play e5. It's castle. I'm going to go here. We're going to direct both the knights towards d6, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Try to make black make a decision about uh, where to castle. Does that interesting? Okay, let's go in. Go in here. Mm 
Wow. Aggressive. Okay, let's take that. Mm, I'm going to push. Take this one, I think. Here, maybe? This looks so shaky for him. Um, I don't quite see a win, though. And I need to speed up now. Let's just take this. Yeah, I really need to speed up now. I'm going to lose on time. Took on F2. Ah, mate. Oh, all right. Resign. Yeah, I spent too long there. And that actually could be a consequential game because I lose the fire 10 minutes. Donnie rules is right there. My opponent's probably way behind that I just lost to, but not a good, not a good game to drop there. A random GM appears, yeah. Almost always those players are titled. <laughs> Someone with that rating, you can guarantee it. All but guarantee it. Hmm. Wants to go to uh, D3. Um, let's go here. I like this position. This looks pretty darn good, actually. Queen d5 was kind of clutch. Okay, he's trying to stabilize. Let's go here. The knight's not doing a whole lot now. Okay, I'm way up on the clock. That's good. Let's actually take this guy. I'm going to bring this knight to d6. And he knows he's got to hurry now. Let's go f4. Big time pressure here. Knight f5. There we go. It's a nice move to get in. Big time pressure. Not like time time pressure, but... Pressure he has to deal with. Take that. <laughs> okay, that was a nice win. Just threw in the random check at the end. Hello, hi, just love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Benny Hanna. Annotating my own games. I've done that a little bit on my channel. Yeah. I may do more of that going forward. Hmm. Go check. Let's bring this back now. Go 95. This actually, I think this is transposed to something a little more familiar to me. Check. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to bait him into playing B5. Does that. Okay, take. I think I can take here. Go back now. This is interesting. Should be good, though. And I'm up a pawn. All right, let's keep his king in the center. Make sure that king has to remain in the middle of the board. Mate threat. Potential little double attack there. Um, let's give this check. We'll go here. So where's that knight going to go? That's a key question for him. 
goes there. So let's do this. Looking for F5 at some point. Yeah, too, I think too difficult for him to defend at this point. Yeah. Okay, nice one. That player wasn't easy, so nice to get that win. This is close, though. Fort End just charging through. Good player here. Pretty high ratings across the board. All right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to berserk this game, actually. This is a bit of a risky decision, but I don't like where it's going against Fort End. Take a bit of a risk. Let's dive in here. B4. Get this going. Then I got the attack on F2, which is really nice. He does that, okay. Take that. Ah, that was a mouse slip. Slip there. Totally slipped. Draw. Oh, I somehow got a draw. I completely slipped rook d1. I was trying for rook... Uh, or sorry, I slipped rook c1. I was trying for rook d1. Doesn't matter, though, because my opponent in the tournament overtakes me. Yeah, that's that's a tough player. Still some time left though. I can't really berserk this game, however. That would be a little too much. Just got to win this one. Three minutes, 30 seconds. This is a must win game. And even then, eh, not looking too hot, but we'll see. Okay, I've got good pressure here. Creating some nice pressure on the enemy position. Let's go check. Mm -hmm. Let's bring this back. Um, this bishop takes a7, but I don't know. Let's do this. This is sharp now. Uh, maybe with this. and uh, There we go. There we go. Take, and I got this threat. Checkmate. Okay. Oh, I'm barely in first place. Cozy Avka is in there too. Two minutes left. I got a chance for one more game. This one will count if I play it. Yeah, he actually lost. Look at that. Come on, pair me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm just going to play normal. I don't think there's much of an incentive to do much else. like this let's go for it pressure down the long diagonal i like it let's go here um go back come on the bishop k4 
Okay, let's go here. We're going to drop the knight in. Opponent's defending really well, actually. Oh, no! Nice find. Wow. He actually saw that. That was a beautiful tactic. Kudos to him for finding that. Brutal. Yeah, he saw that right away. That's my tournament, unfortunately. I'm desperately trying to do something here, but not going to happen. Oh, he actually let that by. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> that is the most. Please hold. Please hold. <laughs> I think I won. Uh, Lee Chess, are you there? Is this over? <laughs> okay. It even slow rolled me at the end. I had to refresh the page. Unreal. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Please go take a shower after that one. I might have to. That was absolutely filthy. I mean, my, my opponent in that last game... Played unbelievably well, or at least it seemed that way to me. I mean, he defended superbly, didn't expose his king, then found queen takes d8 instantly on the spot with knight takes f7, totally winning. And I have a bishop instead of a knight. No counterplay. And he allowed the one move. I mean, we can all relate to this. He allowed the one move that would allow me to win, h4. I just threw it out there. I was considering resigning before that. Maybe I was thinking like, eh, minute chance I'd be able to get another game in. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that was the nastiest tournament victory I've ever had. Ever. I don't think there's any doubt. Just given where I was at with about, you know, one minute remaining in the tournament, this might have to go on YouTube. So, YouTube, I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Catterday says, I was here. Oh, man. And with light mode, too. You see that? Light mode. I'm telling you guys, it's underrated. Whew.